Hello everyone, Helder here. Uh, today I wanted to review one of my most favorite uh, pieces of equipment, which is the uh, military-issued poncho liner, or uh, how we affectionately refer to it in the Marine Corps as our whoobie. All right, there's something magical about this uh, multi-use uh, poncho liner. I've uh, pretty much used it, me and my fellow Marines, for everything but a uh, poncho liner uh, itself. It's just uh, the emotional attachment is hard to explain, but uh, if you uh, were ever a grunt and you're out in the field and you have something that's going to give you a little piece of comfort while you're out there in those miserable um, situations, uh, whether it's training or whether it is a live mission, uh, it was just amazing to be able to cuddle up for that uh, 30 minutes to two hours that you would have to be able to take a nap. Uh, or get a little bit of R&R &R and just be able to uh, wrap yourself up in here for a couple hours, forget about things, get a little bit of comfort, and that's probably why we have such an attachment to our uh, whoobies. And I'm sure that's uh, all across infantry, uh, not just the United States Marine Corps. I actually have uh, two of the uh, poncho liners here. Uh, this one was actually issued to me in the United States Marine Corps, and I've had it ever since. And then inside of this uh, poncho, I actually have another one. Um, I own, uh, I'd say about five of these uh, because every time I wanted to not only use these in the field, but use this at home and uh, just cuddling up on the couch or taking a nap or just being comfortable, I'd pretty much have to fight off my uh, wife and my dogs. Uh, so it was definitely a worthwhile investment to uh, purchase a few more of these. So then I could have them staged. I have the uh, the ones that's primarily for uh, dog and family use indoors. And then I have uh, pretty much these that I would keep uh, to take in the field with me, uh, keep in my kit or keep it on the ready. Now the uses for this poncho liner is basically limited to your imagination. It can be a um, light duty sleeping bag, a tarp, a blanket. I've seen people put zippers on it. Uh, I've seen uh, people use it as a, as a liner inside of an all weather jacket and uh, take it to a tailor on base, uh, putting this material inside of the all-weather jacket. Now, the poncho liner is very lightweight, but it is bulky, uh, whether you roll it up, whether you stuff it. Uh, so it does take up uh, room, especially on a, uh, on a day pack. Uh, so what I do like to do is bundle it in uh, the poncho, so that way it kind of protects against the elements, protects against the weather. I like to roll it into a nice, uh, well, probably shoulder width apart, so that way if I am on uh, single track trails or whatever the case may be, it's not going to hook or brush against anything or get caught on thorns and rip stuff up and make it unserv unserviceable. So uh, keep that in mind, and uh, definitely don't judge me by the uh, quick roll <laughs> that I tied up uh, for demonstration purposes in about uh, 30 seconds. Just like all of our gear, we want to take into consideration how many uses uh, can I really get out of this. Of course, uh, there's high speed uh, sleeping bags, high speed tarps, high speed everything, and I love that gear too. But when we're thinking about something like this, it really depends on what our mission is, what the survival situation is, what is the purpose, and what kind of use can I get with this setup. So I have this, if uh, you saw the setup, if I have it rolled up and just attached to my ruck or backpack uh, underneath so it's not taking up any space inside, it's lightweight so I don't have to worry about that. It's uh, protected by the, uh, the poncho itself so I don't have to worry about the elements. But once I do get to my, uh, my place, all right, or, or where I'm gonna set up base camp, I can use this of course as shelter and uh, for sleeping, but I can also take everything apart. And here I have a couple tarps, right? Here I have a poncho if, uh, if the weather changes and it starts raining like crazy, right? Um, you know, once again, just uh, limited to your imagination. So I know that I can get multi-use out of this. So when I need it to, for sleeping purposes, I put it together. When I need it for their individual purposes, you know, I have multi-use gear here. And that's something that you definitely want to uh, think about. And I harp on a lot uh, when I'm doing reviews, all right? Because you don't want to bring something out there just in case and it really gets no use and it weighs you down and uh, won't have any other practical application out there. So just something else to think about. That's what these reviews are all about, giving, our, giving us ideas. Um, I learn all the time putting these reviews together because it forces me to think uh, before I speak, which I usually have an issue with, right? Because I talk too damn much. But um, just a, a piece of gear that I can't say enough about, right? It's traveled the world with me. It's kept me comfortable. It's uh, kept me warm, right? And uh, also kept uh, a little bit of a peace of mind, right? That that comfort brings uh, when you're out in the field in uh, some awkward situations. 
In the Marine Corps, we always played these games as far as once we made our racks or our beds in the morning, we weren't allowed to lay on them again, whether we were on ship, uh, whether we were back on base at the barracks. Uh, so what we would do uh, is uh, end up using our poncho liner, laying on top of the bed, of course, when nobody was uh, seeing anything, and just having the uh, poncho liner uh, on top of us as a, as a blanket. That way, if we had to get up and just straighten out the bed real quick and square it away, um, you know, we wouldn't get in trouble. And uh, many people continued that process, including myself, where I kind of wouldn't get underneath the sheets or the wool blankets on our racks, and I would just use our uh, uh, the poncho liner that we were issued as basically my blanket and comforter and, and all that stuff. And I know a lot of people, uh, even when we were stateside in the barracks, that would use uh, their whoopee for that purpose. So probably another reason why uh, all of us are so attached to it. Never get between a Marine and his whoopee. Hope you enjoyed this review.